hey fam welcome back to my channel as me what if this is the first time of you my channel thank you so much like i really welcome here before anything i hope you guys are safe keeping your social distance and make sure you obey the rules and regulation of this um covid19 pandemic that is just troubling the whole world like because i love you and i love you so much so just try to um um quarantine yourself and self-isolate if you know or notice any symptoms just try and call the um health lines in your country so on today's episode um i'm gonna take you guys through like right now i'm kind of famished so i uh, want to go make prepare okba like a homemade okba so um obviously i can't um i would like you guys to know the step-by-step -step tutorial on how i prepare my own okba and you can try that at home all right let's get started Alright, from Mokma seed is a bambara nut and this is a grounded powder which is normally done with a heavy duty grinder in the market. Heavy duty grinder in the market and this is the result of what we get. Yeah. This is my pamkana. My pamkana is used to give it gives me the soft oak by one. Of course I want I like my soft and it gives it that popping yellow color. This is my habanero pepper. My habanero pepper gives it this peppery um, taste. Of course, I like my pepper and it gives it a, like a yummy taste too. And this right here, I'm going to use it to sift my okba in order to remove um, unwanted particles. I'm going to use it to sift my okba in a, um, a bigger bowl. Yeah. And next, this is the bowl I'm going to use to sift my okba. Of course, I went in for a bigger bowl. And this is the pot. This right here is the pot I'm gonna use to do for um the mixing and everything. Yeah, yeah. So this right here is my um um Maggi cube. I'm using Maggi cube as a seasoning cube for this, and my salt. Yeah, my Maggi cube. Of course, do you use, um, whenever I make my okba, I don't really use too much ingredients because too much ingredients spoils the taste of okba, natural taste of okba. I don't really add um, crayfish, onions, I don't add any because it spoils the natural taste of okba. This is my Maggi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to use four cubes of Maggi for this particular tutorial. Four cubes of Maggi. I hope you guys can see it. And this is the quantity of salt. I'm not going to use much of this salt. Of course, I'm going to see the quantity I'm going to take. 3 tablespoons, three tablespoons of salt. Alright, fam, let's get started. Um, This is my um, pump kernel. The first method I'm going to use is that I'm going to um wash my pump kernel with enough water like to um wash off every um deaths in it and the oil so this is a running water now i've poured in my palm kernel so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wash it and wash it and wash with enough water So now I'm done washing it. So I'm gonna sieve it in my sieve, right there in my sieve, directly into the sink. Okay. It's now time to rinse out the um excess there. It's the uh huh uh huh uh huh uh huh. Rains, rains, rains. Make sure it's near it before you start cooking. So um, when this is done, I'll set aside and put in to boil. Of course, wash your sink. <laughs> Don't mind me. So this is my um okba now. Um, next method is I'm going to sift my okba into this. Yeah, this is what I'm going to use to sift my okba into the bigger bowl. So this is the uh, I'll take my okba bits by bits and sift the okba. You sift the okba in order to um remove the um unwanted particles dust and of course make your okba lighter you understand so this um way you shake 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 it will drop in down from the net underneath so shake 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 sift 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 
and sift it properly. Mm -hmm. You can see, you can notice that on the um, top of the net, the unwanted um, powders are there. You can call it, yeah, you can see that they're already so you sift and sift and sift until they're all gone. And these are the remaining. Of course, you've seen um, our, how it looks like. So this is what I'm going to do to the remaining parts and sift the whole upper. So now this is um, the whole upper for this particular tutorial. And this, you can see the particles that are remaining on the net. You can see what it looks like. So these are unwanted particles. We are, of course, we are going to dust them off. And this is the upper we are going to use for this particular tutorial. Oh my gosh. It feels light. It feels light. It feels very light. Wow. So, let's get started. Oh my gosh. Remember, I love you all. If you're still watching, love you. I love you. I love you. So, now next tutorial, um, next step is we're going to um, check our boiling palm kernel. It's already boiling. And you know it's done when it's soft. So, I'm going to take one. Oh my God, this thing is something else. So, I'm going to take one and check. It's already soft. It's already soft. So, we are good to go. And these are palm kernel. We already seeded it out. Now, it's time to pound it. So, pound that palm kernel in the mortar in order to extract the juice very well. See see what it looks like. You just pack, but don't add too much energy in order not to break the kernel. So, we'll pack it then and put it into the sieve. This is what it looks like. So, we drop it into the sieve. The kernel makes it soft, like I said earlier, and it gives you that popping yellow color. You understand? It gives you this um, um, yummy taste also. So most people use only red oil. You can choose to use palm kernel and as well as red oil. It all depends on choice. So this is a um, um, palm kernel. Now it's done time to squeeze out the juice, the oil. This is just like it's hot. But I just gotta do this and um, make sure your palm kernel is still hot when you're squeezing the juice because aqua procedures is missed mostly when it's hot. Um, this is the pot, we are not going to pour in our aqua inside the pot for the mixing process. And these are red oil. Yeah, I just took a little quantity. Red oil gives you that yellow popping. Of course, our, I like my popping out, like giving it this radiant yellow color. So we have to mix it and mix and mix and mix. Now, you mix, 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 mix until it's um, this white powder turns into light yellow. You see the color you arrive at before you know you've already arrived at it. Although this color is still um, very light, I add I add a, um, a little oil because I like my by being yellow, giving me that popping yellow color. And of course, it improves the taste too. You mix and mix and mix and mix and mix like you mix it properly evenly It's not well done. So now this is um, the juice I extracted from the palm kernel after I washed it You add it into the okba and mix properly. I Finished the water, but you add it bit by bit then you mix 
and this water is quite hot oh my gosh it's quite hot and you'll um mix properly mix properly make sure there is no long there is no lump there you mix evenly you can see the lumps in my hand so you mix evenly with the um palm kernel juice and make sure the palm kernel juice is quite hot because dissolving the upper needs um everything needs to be hot in order to get a well dissolved and a well dissolved aqua mixture the lumps are still there so you ought to um, dissolve it properly and this is my hot water in order to help me um, dissolve properly you should add a um, generous amount of water when uh, mixing your aqua in order to avoid having a rocky aqua that was so hot oh my gosh so now i'm using my turning <laughs> i'm using this to turn it because of the water is extremely hot like it's steaming hot so uh if the, you have to add a generous amount of water to your but in order not to get a rocky up but you understand the more water you add to it the more soft it becomes at the, at the end of the day you understand so this might look watery but trust me is like is is what it's Though the lumps are still there, the lumps are still there. We've um, um, succeeded in dissolving the aqua, and this is how your hand should be like when you raise um, dip your hand in the um, aqua. This is what it, sh it feels. It should feel like, and it shouldn't be as thick as as you imagined. Like in order to get a strong aqua, it's going to be rocky. can see my hand so for us to remove that lump we are gonna use this thing as sift it to and we'll pour in our aqua inside directly inside it directly inside wow yeah that's okay i'm using that the smaller um the smaller size so of course i'm gonna do this bit by bit but if you're using this bigger size you can just directly pour it in and you can see the aqua is already coming out it's dropping below and these are the residues the remnants that remain and these are the lumps lumps are inside the aqua with the pamkana blah 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 now it's time to add a habanero pepper inside the aqua i like mokba pepper so if you don't like your pepper you shouldn't add pepper as much as this I'll stay, I'll turn, 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 <laughs> Don't mind me, I joke a lot. As you can see, you can, you can no longer find the lump. Apart from the pepper, you can't see the lump again. And it's now time to add our salt. Just drop little quantity. And these are Maggi cube. I use four cubes of Maggi for this. And you turn, 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 turn. When you are done turning this like like this as it is raw, it should be hot, number one. And number two, when you are adding your salt and Maggi, make sure you taste it in order to avoid adding excess. Now, this is my okwa. I'm sorry, the video had to cut um, when I was scooping it inside. This is what my okwa looks like now. I am is done cooking and I'm so sorry. Let's not break it now. Oh my gosh, yummy, isn't it? Yummy. Like I told you, can't you, you can see from the view of what you're seeing, you see my upper looks soft. You can see it and this is what it looks like now so it's time to eat uh-huh come and join me <laughs> oh my gosh i'm quite famished i can't wait to um eat um i'm so sorry the video had to cut when i was scooping the by inside like the nylon and i'm so sorry about that um i hope you guys um saw how i did everything and this is the end product of the whole stuff 
I hope you guys really enjoyed the tutorial and of course it was beginners friendly if you follow the steps um, I took in making my okba they are going to get not just a very tasty but a yummy okba yeah they are going to get tasty and yummy okba and um, don't forget to drop your comments down there in the comment section below and if not subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe down there down there and hit the bell right down there to get notified whenever I post a new video I love you, but remember, God loves you more. Stay safe and be blessed. And of course, obvious, like the most important, we should ought, we ought to pray to God, like to have mercy on the world and this pandemic, COVID nineteen pandemic. All right, there. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.